Hello and welcome to another episode of MS Eats. I'm Maverick, and joining me today is my very special guest, Wani. Hi everyone, I'm Wani, a year two MSE student. Uh, I'm currently the head programmer for MedSafe 2022. So if you're an incoming fr- freshie, you might see me there. So please say hi when you see me. You see me too, because I'm a HP too. So today, the theme is Halal. So basically, we'll be going through some of the places in NTU that are either Halal certified or Muslim owned. So Wani, uh, I've, I've heard that you prepared a list of places for us to visit. Could you tell me what they are? Yes, I did prepare. Um, so first off, we will try the quad food. Uh, and then moving on, we will go to Ken 11, followed by Tamarind Canteen. Ah, okay, that sounds very good. So now, uh, we'll start our journey over here at the court. So Wani, could you tell us like, uh, what at, do you like to eat at the court? Uh, my favourite food will be the beef bulgogi. This one I highly recommend Ooh. you guys eat it, okay? Okay, sure thing. Actually, uh, this one's really really good and I'm really really hungry. So, shall we go there and try? Yeah. Okay, let's go! So now we are at Canteen 11, which as you guys guessed, is at Hall 11. So Wani, why did you bring me to Canteen 11? Oh, uh, I heard that Canteen 11 has one of the best halal food in NTU. Oh really? What's your most favourite food there? Uh, probably the nasi ayam. Oh, the nasi ayam. Actually that sounds very nice. Shall we go and try it? Yep, let's okay, go. Let's go. Okay, buddy, where are we heading over next? Since we ate nasi ayam at Can 11, okay. now let's head over to the next door canteen, Tama. Okay, I know of a shortcut that can take us there in an instant. All we need to do is just go through the car park over there. Oh wow, that's fast. Of course, what did I tell you? It's a shortcut for a reason. Actually, today we are going to eat the nasi ayam penyet over there. Wait, oh. but it's close. Oh, oh no. Now what? <laughs> hey, not to worry Rani, because next door, we have a store that sells Indian Muslim food. So technically, that still sticks within the team. And uh, the food is actually really really good. I've tried it many times. Shall we go and try it? Yep. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at all the food that we have here. Cheers for the two of us. I can't wait to try it. Me too, me too. Okay, so here is all the food that's laid out. First of all, we have the uh, beef bulgogi that we got at the Quad Canteen. That is $5.50. Over here in the middle, we have the uh, rice bought from the Malay store at Canteen 11. Actually, Wani, could you guess how much this is? Mm, $5? Wrong. It's 360 only. Oh, really? Yes, it's so cheap. That's why I love um, that's the thing that I love about this store. It's actually pretty cheap. And last but not least, we have the Indian food, the butter chicken with biryani rice at uh, the Tamarind Canteen. It's five dollars only. So we're gonna review the food based on three factors. The first being the price of the food, followed by the presentation of the food, and last but not least, of course, the taste. Sure thing, we'll, let's try the beef bulgogi now. Okay. So Wani, I heard that this is your uh, most favourite food in like the whole NTU. Yes. Um, but then they usually serve it with uh, seaweed soup. Oh. But since we take away tapau, yeah. they don't uh, tapau the seaweed soup. 
Oh no, that's so sad. Yeah. But do you still like the rest of the food? I'm gonna try now. Okay, sure. Wow, I like that. I like that response. Okay, wait, uh, let me get a bit here. Oh, okay. oh, that's a lot of rice. Okay. Oh, that's kimchi. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, okay. Would you like to go first, Mani? Okay, the flavour from the meat balances the sour taste from the kimchi. Honestly, it's very nice. Yeah. But it can be better with the seaweed soup. <laughs> so if you guys want to go to Quad, you don't tap out, okay? Uh, eat, eat. Yeah, dining is better. I think I, I would prefer the, I would love it with the seaweed soup as well. Yeah, I agree with you. I like how the meat is seasoned. It's actually really nice. Uh, we did uh, Korean food also on the previous episode, the episode 1, Bang for Buck episode. But that one was the chicken at Tamari. And I would say that, you know, bulgogi beef, wow, they actually season it very nicely and I really like the, the seasoning, yeah. And yeah, you're right, paired with the kimchi is actually pretty nice. Okay, so uh, Wani, based on the three criteria that I've stated earlier, how would you rate this food out of a five? Okay, presentation-wise, it's not that bad. But if you dine in, it would be better because they serve it in like a hot plate style. Yep. I will give it... 3 out of 5 3 out of 5 Ooh, okay, okay, alright Um, I think for this first round I also go a bit conservative here I think I will go for a 4 out of 5 And my reason for that is because um, Compared to the other two foods I would say the other two are more colourful But the taste I love the taste of the beef It's really well seasoned And really, really very good And for 550 It's the most expensive of the three With the seaweed soup I think it's pretty worth the price How long have you been here in NTU? I think for 3 years already 3 years already? Yes 3 years? Is it all at the same store here? Yes, ah, same store Okay, okay yeah. What do you like about this job? This job, uh, I like mm. Because um, I can see many customers oh, okay. <laughs> Then uh, like friendly Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Number one friendly then Like also uh, no boring uh. Ah, okay, okay, okay Yeah Okay then, uh, in the menu, what is the most, uh, what's the food that you recommend? Like what is the best food that okay. you think? Actually, uh, many people buy chicken. Ah, okay. But I recommend uh, bibimbap. Because oh. you know why bibimbap? Bibimbap, this one got vegetable, rice, uh, uh, chicken, and egg, and soup. Ah. Then the price is so cheap. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I think yes. the price is also okay. Yeah, yeah right. the price is okay, yes, correct. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, auntie. Yeah, okay. okay, thank you. For the Malay food, the ingredients that I ended up choosing was the sayur lode, pate sausage, sambal goreng, as well as the burger And all of this for 360 only guys. Wow. Just gonna try the sayur lode because that's like my favorite food. Like my favorite ingredient to add for uh, Malay rice. Initially, we wanted to buy the chicken rice, but then it only sells on Mondays. Mondays. Every Monday. Yeah, correct. So they have a certain special dish uh, every single day. My most favorite would be Friday where they have the nasi lemak, which I really enjoy. Because the chicken, the rice, as well as the chili, right, actually just makes it an extremely um, delicious meal and it's quite cheap also. I think it's $3, $3.50. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. I, I, that's what I like about this store also. The price is actually really good. Yeah. Alright, let's go. <laughs> yeah, what else can I say? I, I really love it. Yeah, this store never fails to disappoint me. Um, when I go to other like Merlin Rice stores like outside of NTU, they actually charge quite, it's quite expensive actually. The sayur lode over here, they actually charge 50 cents for it only. When I order from other stores outside, right, they can charge me as much as like $1.50 for the sayur lode. But here's only 50 cents, so thumbs up, thumbs up, man. But this time I'll try the satay sausage, the burkadale, as well as the sambal going. Oh, and one thing I like about Malay food is the tempeh also. I really love tempeh. What of these four ingredients, which one would you say is the best? Or is the one that you like the most? I would say the sausage. The sausage? Yeah. Ooh, actually, let me try it. It's the taste of the sausage that's like, the most obvious when I'm tasting it. Overall, I love the the taste of this. And yeah, for 360, right? Wow, you can actually really get something very filling. Funny, out of five, how would you rate this? Okay, considering presentation, taste, and price, it's to me it's worth, very worth it lah. So I'll rate it a four out of five. Whoa, four out of five. Hmm. Mm. No, but four out of five is what I gave for this one, yeah. Okay. Um, in my opinion, I agree. I like the presentation. This is a very colorful dish. And the, the price though, wow, it's actually very cheap. I actually like it. And the taste, wow, it's just fantastic. I really like the taste of the sausage, the sayur lode, the burkadil, and some more growing. Basically everything. Yes. So to me, I think I'll give you a 4.5 actually. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you a first class honors. That's this a decimal is point? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can oh, give you a decimal okay. point. Me and Zen actually give decimal points. 
Oh. So you give like 4.2, you only give your first class, just give it 4.5. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. would you like to revise your ratings then for this one? I say it's the best way to right? But then I give a 3 out of 5. <laughs> yeah. It's because of the seaweed, po- uh, seaweed soup. Okay? Oh. Yeah, so I wouldn't change it. So if there's a seaweed soup there, how much would you have given it? 5. Whoa. Guys, the seaweed soup is worth 2 stars, eh, you know. Yeah. So you, you guys should really try it with the seaweed yeah. soup, ah? Dine in. Dine in. That's right, that's right. How long have you been here in NTU? Oh, I'm here going to, going to 4 years. 4 years already? Coming, coming to 4 years. Coming to 4 years. Is there anything that you really like about uh, the job over here? Yeah, more because I see you can see the children, some more friendly. Ah, yeah, my, my colleague here, my neighbor, all here, all very friendly. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Then say anything. And the, the student, all very, very good. Ah, yeah, actually, student very nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think, I think you were very nice also. Especially la. from other country. One, ah, right, true, true, true. Yeah. Actually, I think IT also very nice. La. That's why like we want to interview you also. <laughs> okay. <la. laughs> what food do you recommend on the menu here? What I know you like is my lotto. Okay. My sambal goreng, bagade. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah. Thank you so much, Auntie. Okay. okay. Last but not least, we have the uh, Indian food. And this is, I would say, one of my most favorite food in the Tamarin canteen, of course, alongside the uh, Korean food. And I can't wait to dig in. Eh. Shall we try? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, the chicken is so soft. Yeah, yeah, chicken soft. And I guarantee you, right, the taste is good. And oh yeah, for this one right, you can actually choose, uh, you have, can add in a vegetable of your own choice for free. So in my case, I added chickpeas because I really like chickpeas. Think for free? I think for free, yeah. Oh. Alright, can we dig in? Let's go. This is really uh, what I recommend if you were to go to the store to eat. And coincidentally, it's also uh, Muslim owned. So this is good. Best of both worlds. Okay, but, but I feel like the portion is a bit bigger. Small eater like me, you might want to share this with your friend or someone else. So that uh, you will finish the food. And it's 250 each, you know? Think about it. It makes it even cheaper. It's more worth the money. The spice, I think it, it just comes and goes. Yeah. So I think if you can't stand spicy food, it might be still bearable for you. Yes. And I agree on the part where it comes and goes. Unlike the uh, chili that me and Zen ate last episode, uh, La Tzu Ti, oh my god. After we took the shot, basically I had to run down, buy a few cups of Bandung for me and Zen to drink. So yeah, that, that went really well. <laughs> there. Yeah, there. Oh, it's okay. That was like long ago, and now my stomach is okay again. And I'm, and this is really good, uh, I think it's uh, tolerable for my stomach. Okay, so maybe I'll start the rating first. So out of five, right? Wow. Okay. Damn. Okay. Oh, these two are like my most favorite foods in the respective canteens for now. I love chickpeas also. Ooh, this cutting it close. I think I'll give a four point. Seven. Okay, I'll give you a four point seven. Yes. Upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. I, I really think this is very very good. You guys should really try it at, when you're at Tamarind Canteen. I'll give it a four point five. Whoa, four point yes. five first class honors. Oh yeah. Whoa, why? Okay, so uh, it's not the best biryani that I've tasted, but then it's like one of the best uh, halal food that you can find in NTU. Definitely, definitely. So yeah, if you are free, uh, you can come down to Tama to try it out. Yes, definitely. We were originally wanted to try the oh, yeah. uh, the, the, the yeah. yeah, but then end up the, the store wasn't open at that time. So just nice when the Indian store was open, we just ordered it and it's great. Yes, highly recommend. Wow, that was a good meal, don't you think, Wani? Yeah. yeah. You can see that there's nothing here. It's because the food was so good. I ate the container up. Mmm, it's delicious. So, Wani, what do you say uh, is the, your most favorite food among the three? Mm, to me, it will still be the quad food, the beef bulgogi, even though I ranked it um, 3 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are correct because TV Soup is plus 2. Yeah, now I remember. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I give it a 3 out of 5 because of the seaweed soup. Uh. Um, yeah. But I still recommend it as the best food to eat in NTU. Okay, okay. Right, for me, it would be the Indian food, the butter chicken. I mean, even like my friends ate it over here, right? And they found it really good. So, well, this means that it's not only me that find it good, it's the majority of us find it good. So, you guys should really, really try it when you come to Tamari Canteen. Um, as you can, as you know, remember from a few months ago, there was this article about the uh, lack of uh, halal options available on campus. Mm, so, what is your opinion on that? Oh, 
I mean, I have to agree with it because like I myself experienced the struggle to get halal food in NTU. Um, so like it got worse. So like in semester one, like last two to three semesters ago, there were at least like halal food in North Spy. But then um, I don't know why, but then like uh, it just disappeared the next the next semester. So like I had to eat fast food like almost every single day until I'm like sick of it. Yeah. So but then now there are like initiatives uh, done by the school which is like a good step to make the school inclusive. So for example like the NTU makan makan where like uh, people can uh, order from external vendors. Uh, yeah, and then they will help you to, to deliver and then you just collect from a collection point. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Mm. Oh, I didn't know that such an initiative exists. Do you know how to how people um, can access this um, app? Is that an app or website or something? Oh, so there are a lot of platforms that you can uh, access, uh, access to. So, so uh, such as Telegram, uh, Instagram. Yeah, I mean these are the two main platforms la, that you can uh, access to. Yeah. Mm, okay, I see. And the food that they have is like food that's also of NTU, is it? Mm, correct. Oh, okay, okay. That's interesting. Wow. I think I think everyone should know that it's a good uh, alternative for N- uh, to NTU food. So okay, so just an update, guys. Um, the canteen at Court, uh, I heard from the Korean store auntie, right? Is now a hundred percent halal. So all the stalls there are halal. So um, it doesn't matter what you order over there, it's, it'll be halal. And um, this is actually quite good because um, I heard that um, last time it wasn't like that. Mm. So now it's a fully halal canteen, which is good, which is good, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about this until like um, a few seconds ago. Yeah, actually I didn't know about this also until the uh, Korean auntie told me just now. So yeah, you can give it a try. Okay, so uh, this comes to the end of the trilogy of the MS Eats. We hope you enjoy um, the three episodes that we had. I mean, we I definitely had fun, and thank you, Wani, for having uh, for coming over to um, bring me to the many different places in NTU that are halal certified. Thank you for having me. Too. No problem, no problem, no problem. Um, you can feel free to come again anytime. Oh, really? Free food again? Huh? Well, <laughs> that depends. If you guys want more episodes of uh, MSEs, well, I guess you have to leave it to the next year's uh, events. If um, there's good enough. Uh, reviews i guess then maybe they will be able to do another season maybe try more foods on campus what do you guys think okay, so if you like this video uh give a thumbs up to us and we hope you definitely enjoyed the uh past three episodes of uh, us trying the food options on ntu if you have any other suggestions of uh, good food places well, you can just leave it in the comments below or you can just uh, tell us through our telegram or anything like that and with that we hope to see you around school Bye-bye. bye bye